Good morning everyone and welcome to GSC at home. My name is Celine and today we are going to be talking about proprioception. Proprioception is how our body knows which position it is in. It's what allows us to play a piano without looking at the keys or to tie a shoelace without looking at our feet. Now proprioception is sometimes believed to be our sixth sense. If I was to ask you how many senses you have, you would probably tell me you have five. Touch, taste, smell, hearing and sight. These are our five basic senses. However, many scientists believe that we have more than five and one of them is proprioception. So today we're going to do an activity together to explore our proprioception. So if you can, can you stand up nice and tall and put your arms out so that you're in a T-shape like this to make sure you have lots of room. If you're sitting down, don't worry, you can still take part. Just make sure that when you go to spread your arms out into a T-shape that you don't bang into anything or knock over any fancy vases. We don't want that to happen, do we? Make sure that you have lots of space around. Once you have your space, put both hands up in the air with your fingers pointing to the ceiling. In this activity, we are going to keep our left arm, hand and fingers completely still above our head like this. And using our right index finger, which is this one here, we are going to touch the tip of our nose and then touch our thumb, come back to our nose and we want to touch each finger coming back to our nose in between each one. However, we are going to do this with our eyes closed. Now I will be doing this along with you. So if everyone at home is ready, put both hands up in the air, close your eyes and with your right index finger, let's touch our nose. And now quickly touch your left thumb. Back to your nose. And uh, next one. Index finger, back to your nose. And our next finger. Back to our nose. Second last one. Back to our nose and our pinky. And back to our nose. I found that really tricky. Did you find that tricky too? Let's try something a little bit different. This time, we're going to do the same activity. However, rather than keeping our hands still, we are going to wiggle our fingers like this. With our eyes closed again, using our right index finger to touch our nose and then touch each of our fingers. <clears throat> if you're ready, hands above your head, close your eyes and let's touch our nose. And then wiggling your fingers, let's touch your left thumb, back to our nose, next one, back to your nose, middle finger, back to our nose, second last one, and last one. That was so much easier, I thought. What was going on? During this activity, we were using our proprioceptors and our muscles, tendons and joints. Our proprioceptors send signals up to our brain to help us to know which position our bodies are in, how they are moving and how much strength our muscles need to use. Most of us depend on our eyes to help us to judge where we are, how far away from things we are and their position in the world around us. However, in this activity, because we closed our eyes, our proprioceptors found it a little bit tricky to be able to find where our fingers were. And that's because they're not used to doing that without the help from our eyes. If you try that experiment again and keep practicing with your eyes closed, you will find that you will get better at locating your fingers. And that's because as the saying goes, practice makes perfect. And I know I definitely need a lot of practice at that activity. After that, we did the same thing but this time we wiggled our fingers. Now I did, certainly did find this one easier, you might have too, and that is because wiggling your fingers was giving your brain some additional information so that your brain knew more and found it easier to locate each finger. Thank you for tuning in to GSE at Home. 
Please send in your questions and comments, we'll try our best to answer them. If you do this experiment at home, tag us on social media in any of your pictures or videos, we would love to see them. And we'll hopefully see you again next time for some more GSE at home.